What were some things that stuck out to you in the site today? Like my personal or just the whole whole yeah, whatever, experience? Whatever, whether it's the artist, the yeah. just the experience, something you usually learn. Yeah, man, I mean, I think just for me, like, um, just connecting with so many people, right? I mean, I just, I knew probably half the people, but I had no idea the other people existed. So it was just cool to, like, connect with them and, and be like, oh, yeah, like, you're really, you're really good. Like, we should connect. Let's link up. And so I think just events like this are always, always really dope. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, with all these different artists, you get different type of lyrics, uh -huh. different, different dynamics of yeah. artists and lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But one thing that stick out is, you know, with you is your, um, your lyrics as well, too. Basically, yeah. the message behind with your, um, I don't know, I can't say push that. Contrasting, uh, Contrasting, whatever. Conveying. Conveying, hey, there it is. Hey, we got it. <laughs> like, man, I look crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The message that you're conveying. Yeah. Can you give us just the inspiration behind it? Because, you know, with the music, you're touching on more so, like, like deeper issues. And, and yeah. Deeper yeah. Yeah. I think, um, well, I think for me, as I've grown up, I don't think that I've, I've never been able to separate the gospel from the issues of our world, right? I think that those two are so romantically entwined with each other. And, uh, and so for me, like I feel personal responsibility to talk about things like oppression um, and, you know, just like government issues and things like that, just because, you know, I grew up in, in an area that, not that they didn't have those issues, but they just ignored it all. You know, it was like, um, I grew up in a very predominantly white neighborhood. Uh, like I, I always say, I can count like on one hand, the amount of people of color in my, my high school. And so, um, yeah, just very, like when you're around people that are all pretty much the same as you, you just, you miss out on a lot of the other stuff that's happening in culture and in the world around us. And so, um, you know, moving to Philly when I was 20, just kind of culture shock in the midst of it. Uh, you know, I spent a lot of time in Boston growing up, but um, yeah, I just feel this like sense of responsibility to be a voice for, you know, urban areas for people that, you know, may not have a full understanding of what it's like to be from an area like this and so you know I touch on a lot of different things and um, all to the glory of God and then the gospel and um, yeah. Now let me ask this question for somebody that's, um, that did music in the world right yeah. and then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ touched their heart uh -huh. so they know they can't hold on to that yeah. but they feel led to transition into the mill. That could be a culture shock too mm -hmm. from where they was at compared to this area. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, hip hop yeah. versus Christian hip hop or right. whatever you want to yeah. call it. What message or advice would you want to give to somebody um, that may be struggling with culture shock or just that transition musically? Yeah, well, that's a good question. Um, I think my, my advice would just be um, to, I mean, I would just say network and connect, right? I think that a, a lot of the time we don't, we don't do our due diligence at finding the right people in those lanes, right? There's plenty of people in Christian hip hop that started off in different areas, right? And so my first thing would just be, you know, connect with people that are older than you, like we're doing here at, this, at the Cypher, but then um, also just don't forget your roots. I think there's something so beautiful about hip hop as a genre and how it started um, in, in just being an honest and true expression of who you are. Uh, and I think that when people switch over to something that's more Christian hip hop, that there is some sort of expectation where you need to be like super spiritual or anything like that. But like, I'll just say like, be yourself, right? Cause you're, you're made from your experiences. And so if we can bring any of that into your music, it's gonna be more authentic and, and honestly more true to, to the gospel as well. And allow people to really feel your music. So that'd be my thing.